We've got some exciting news for scientists and stargazers this morning that's left us all asking, is there life on Venus? A certain type of gas has been discovered in the planet's clouds that could mean just that. To tell us more, we've got a chat to our resident space expert, Dr Alan Duffy from Swinburne University. A very good morning to you, Duffy. What have we found and why could it indicate life? What we found is one of the most promising signs of life beyond Earth in the most surprising of locations. We found a gas called phosphine uh, on Earth that's associated with microbial, so bugs, uh, uh, life, a breakdown in an oxygen-free environment. We've found it on Venus, uh, led by Jane Graves. She has seen a gas, again, that can only be explained by life on Earth and perhaps some unknown geochemical process, and that's important to remember, it could still be something else, but it's sitting on a planet that's hot enough to melt lead, uh, that has clouds of sulfuric acid, it could not be more inhospitable, and yet there is this signature in the clouds of Venus, and we are all absolutely stunned. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel it as well, but uh, hey, we've been burned on this sort of thing before, haven't we, where there's a promise of life out there, and then when we go and look or, or, or take a bit of a closer investigation, all of a sudden, it turns up nothing. What do you reckon here? <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of this. The, the statement, uh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Until I see the bug in the lab, I won't believe it. But <laughs> this is the most promising sign I've seen in years. We now have to follow up, try to rule out any other possible ways of making this this chemical. The the team have been exhaustive in ruling out other options, but maybe there's some new thing going on in Venus. The next thing, of course, we want to do is to go there. Maybe have a balloon mission that floats in the clouds. 50 kilometers from the surface, the conditions are actually quite balmy, like the Earth, essentially, in terms of temperature and pressure. Still clouds of sulfuric acid, so not great. But imagine floating in those clouds and looking for bugs that are floating alongside you. That's what is possible today after this incredible discovery. Uh, you know that I'm thinking about that 100%. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, uh, if we find life, what, what does it really mean for us Earthlings? Well, this gives us a second uh, example of life. We get to understand how did we form, how did we begin here on Earth? And if we find life beyond Earth, it means that it's far easier to form than we could ever have hoped. It means that in the billions of potential worlds out in our galaxy that could harbor life, there's a very increased chance that they do. It basically opens the floodgate to a richer life uh, uh, expanded galaxy if we can confirm it on one other place. OK, I'm going to um, quietly try to wipe the smile off my face here. Alan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll keep a close eye on it. And uh, please, you keep your close eye on the stars for us as well. I'll do my best. Thanks, mate.